Hello, welcome to another Tonal and Sunscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today has got the title Sunset on the Range. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good, it's not a bad title. Hey? Um, it's a um, 7x10, which is a size I haven't done for a while, and you'll get the story as to why very shortly. And I did this a couple days ago, and I'm really, really happy with the painting, and I'm going to tell you the tale. Now, before I tell you the tale, I have to say this is an excellent one. If you like the way this one looks, which I think it looks really good, um, it's a really good one to check out in the members area. There's a link to the members area below the video. And uh, now I would warn you, like a lot of people follow the channel on uh, mobile devices like uh, iPads or tablets or phones. For some reason, I don't know, uh, YouTube and their, that particular f format uh, doesn't always do the membership thing. I, I, I've had a couple of people say they've had some issues. So the, the best way to sign up is like through the Chrome browser, which is Google's browser on a PC or a Macintosh computer. Yeah. Now once you're signed up, there's nothing to stop you from accessing the content through your mobile devices. Yeah. And I don't know, I mean, the, you, you, the problem with uh, the Google YouTube empire is that you can't contact him and get a, a human being. So I have no way to talk to him about this. It'd be great if I could, but maybe their um, AI that monitors everything that I say in my recordings here will will report this information to them and they can fix it because it'd be really good. Anyway, why? You're saying, okay, uh, we don't really care about all that. We're running out of patience and time. Okay, all right, just relax. It's okay. It's all right. Um, why? Well, okay, I'm going to give you the scenario. So my studio is about, now I've been riding my, my uh, bike or uh, I got a little scooter, like a, you know, a foot, foot pedal type scooter. Um, well, it's electric, trust me, I'm a big guy, but uh, I've been taking that to work, and you know, it's a 10, 10 minute commute that way, um, and I was thinking as I was, uh, or maybe I was driving, I'm not sure, but uh, driving to work, and uh, I was thinking, man, you know, I'd, I'd like to do a sunset today, and then I was thinking, I don't really think I have any sunset reference set up. But I like that's not a problem. That's not an issue because I can set up a sunset reference very easily, and I show you how in the members area how to do that with just about any photo to turn it into some either like a blue tone scene or any color tone scene. In this case, sunset colors. Um, and I thought, well, you know what? I'll just pick a pictorialist photo that I haven't painted before and. Uh, do it uh, do up the reference in the sunset tones and I'll be off to the races and so I recorded that entire process so that's one video in the members area now the the, the, the potential issue that is there like a lot of people don't want to mess with Photoshop they just want to paint I use I'm an expert in Photoshop I used to make my living in it so I use Photoshop to manipulate and set up reference all the time and I have quite a few uh, videos in the members area giving you a lot of um, my ideas and approaches there and this video is one of those it's 20 something minutes long and you see me turn a black and white antique photo into something I can use as reference for a sunset painting and then uh, we do some um, color mixing on a, a whole nother video the live version of this painting uh, session would have all my color mixing session. I didn't even do the drawing mix, uh, the drawing session separate like I do a lot of times because I just jumped in. And this actually is a good video in the live area, about an hour and a half, a uh, little longer with that color mixing session. But uh, I provide that to the members because one of the main uh, questions I get asked is about color. So that said, let me see what I can tell you because you are love being lovely enough to watch the. Uh, the regular sped up 15 minute video so uh, you get the idea and approach I want to do a sunset painting now um, several things and my strategies for being a successful landscape painter is 
Um, you always want to have references handy that are prepared that are going to be inspiring. If if you don't have something handy that um, you want to paint that day, I mean, I gave I gave a quick lesson there on how to come up with something. You know, it only took 20 minutes. Um, and then I had a lovely uh, board texture. You can see the color of paint on here is a bit of a raw sienna tone. And it has that texture on it. And um, it was really lovely and awesome to paint on. And I have to say, the texture boards go a bit quicker than the smooth boards. And the smooth boards, I end up creating a lot of the texture um, that we perceive. Um, in, the, in the texture boards, people tend to think it's all brush strokes. But I know that. It's laying on top of a brushy sort of texture. So, anyway, um, we jumped in. We did some painting, you know. Um, but I had uh, I had this board ready it was a seven by ten. So that was done. That was ready for when inspiration strikes. So, take a lesson from that, you know. Um, I mean, this is the kind of thing I lecture people on in my live videos all the time. But uh, maybe I forget to lecture you about it. Have uh, boards prepped and ready. Have an area in your house that is, this could just be a, um, part of the kitchen table where you say your family. Um, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of room in your life, but uh, you could say to the family, okay, hey, this, this part of the kitchen table is where I keep my easel and my you know you keep your paints off to the side or whatever but have a place that you just do one thing which is painting and that's um that's a lesson i got that i think is super valuable it was actually a lesson that a writer had written and one of his um i think this is pertinent to painting so i'm going to keep talking about this if this is all right but um he was saying, he, in his case, uh, you know, the problem with writing on his laptop was uh, he checked the email, a uh, little news notice would come up, or a Facebook notice, and he'd be off into that, and he'd be doing anything but writing. So his solution to that was to come up with a, uh, just go buy a cheap, old, uh, or even the, I think in his case it was a used laptop. Um, you don't need a lot of firepower to write, you know. And uh, it didn't go online. He wouldn't didn't have it hooked up to the um, the Wi-Fi or anything. And he had that in a spot where he would he would sit and he would write. And all he would do when, on that laptop and in that spot would be to write. And I made a mental note of that. I think that's brilliant. So that's not the only thing I do in my studio. But when I go to my studio, I'm either looking at paintings I've done, planning my next painting, um, visiting with other artists, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all, I try to keep the visiting to a minimum, actually. I tend to stay in my studio and let other artists come to me as I'm working. But I always have a plan to work, and I'm always well set up. I have my paints in a little mini fridge that's right there. Um, I have boards prepped and ready to go. So that's another thing, getting back, uh, going full circle. You want to have boards prepped and ready to go. If you like working on texture, make sure they're textured. You like working on smooth, make sure they're just so and ready to paint when you actually get it together and say, yeah, I'm actually a painter and I'm actually going to do an actual painting right now. And sit down and do that painting. Grab a board, get your reference. And that reference could be mm, study after a master, some photograph of your own that you manipulated, um, you know somebody else's cool photograph I don't recommend that though because uh, I think as I said in the live video you know one day um, I think we all uh, play with the idea that we're gonna be rich and famous one day and you know what it might be you so if you're making paintings off of that uh, that um, that photographers super uh, awesome cool photo um, you could find you've got real copyright issues and you're a rich famous guy and they're gonna go after you or gal and they're gonna go after you you know so anyway um, let's talk about this painting a little bit uh, I mean in a sense we kind of been talking about it. I had the board um, I have plenty of paints I mix the colors um, one thing about this is like I had black on the palette but like you can see that little house in the distance okay that is really 100% uh, burnt umber now I did my whole drawing with some burnt umber thinned down with oil um, and when I came to that house I thought I'll just pop in this burnt umber I had black on my palette 
Um, and actually you can see right now I did take the burnt umber one notch darker with a little bit of black. Um, but for the most part my darkest color is 100% burnt umber which is quite dark. And uh, so I didn't do a lot of full out black in this. There is almost none in this painting. And that kind of replicates uh, what I came up with in the reference which like I say you can see in the members area. We gotta keep telling you about that members area because people tip in and tip out but it's only six bucks a uh, six bucks a month and there's over I think it's I want to say there's over 200 videos. If there's not over 200 videos it's a lot. It's more than most people will um, be able to watch especially since it's real time but you know if you like him what I do and you want to get some of that you know the best way yeah, I recommend everyone follows my 15 minute videos because they're more succinct. They fit in better with a lot of people's schedules and I do pass on a lot of information, but the live is in the throes of battle. So in some ways I feel it's, it's more valuable, it's more significant because, um, you know, even right now this painting, it's only two days in my past, but it's in my past. I mean, um, but there, when I was recording it, it was happening, it was 100% what was going on and the challenges thereof. And one of the challenges, one of the things that presented itself was do I want to... I actually love to lay down a nice dark black. But I thought, nah, nah, it doesn't, I don't want this. It'll be more of a glowy uh, without it, and it was. Um, so a bit of an evolution for me, and you know, when you've been painting a long time, I mean you got to take them where you can because uh, you you progress you still progress you know of course but um, sometimes you have to work harder for those big those big uh, to make those big moves that uh, like I have a student right now and you know from week to week she's just exploding in ability so um, because she's working hard and she's at an early part of her journey and you know you cover a lot more ground early on than you do uh, when you've attained a bit of mastery but even then it's like something like hmm no I'm not gonna just be automatic Mr. Automatic and uh, restate all my darks with black here I'm going to subtly bring in a one note darker than burnt number will go on its own and everything is suffused with a reddish glow and in fact this painting is just really lovely um, it went pretty rapidly and actually for that reason 7 by 10 I'm popping this in my store for 200 bucks you got a link for that right in the video and uh, that includes international shipping and a money-back guarantee we almost had a close one there recently where because of Kova you know um, things went a little longer but uh, uh, I back. Uh, I will back up every sale 100%. So there's really no risk on your part if you get that painting and you go, whoa, I thought this was going to be so much nicer. <laughs> you just let me know. I'll get that painting back from you. You won't suffer. Yeah. Um, what else do I have to say about this painting? I just really love it. I'm really happy with it. Um, I really, uh, I could have kept going, um, but this is the thing with painting is that... Um, more uh, time spent is usually not better if you've got to know this is one of the things my student was hitting me on the other day because she's starting out you know like when do i know i'm done i was like wow you only know after you've ruined a bunch of stuff because you've worked on it too much <laughs> or maybe you got a teacher like me that's around saying stop I'm watching, I'm, I'm doing some iconography for my church, uh, and it's a sideline right now, and um, at some point I'll be sharing some of that on the video, uh, on the channel as well. And uh, the iconographer, it's, it's Painting the Light, go check out his channel, it's amazing, he paints in um, tempera, and I'm learning this medium, and it's so different than oil, but really, really awesome, really does some really cool things, um, and uh, he's uh, kind of like me. This video video was, you know, an hour and a half, uh, sped up to 15 minutes to keep it all brief. And he's talking over the top of his, and he's he's going further with his icon. He's like, no, stop. 
<laughs> as he's watching himself paint. And this guy has mastery. You know what I mean? No, stop, because it looked good. He went too far, just that one note too far. So it happens to us uh, pros as well. Um, but you know, um, next time he's got something like that going on, he'll maybe remember that pain. You know, go, nope, nope, this looks fine. And that's what I did on this one. I'm really happy about it because it has a breeze. It has lovely colors. It's a really great composition thanks to that awesome pictorialist photo. And uh, I couldn't be happier. And hopefully you really enjoyed watching me do it. Hey, leave me a comment if you uh, are the type of person that leaves comments on videos. I I know last time I asked, I got a lot more comments. And it's just, you know, it, it's it's more rewarding for me. I'll just be honest with you. It's great to hear from people that are getting something from what we're putting out. But I'll put it out either way. So you're all good. Uh oh, you can hear me in the background there. Hear me in the background there. I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, I'm leaving a little longer bit. Anyway, until I come back with another video, thanks so much for watching this one, and uh, I'll be back. You know me. I'm going to do another video, God willing, if I have the, uh, you know, the, the ability and the health to do so. I love to paint, and I love to share. And, um, yeah. What else can I say? Check this out in my store. It would be awesome if you support me that way. Join the members area or just, uh, you know, I don't care about likes or whatever, but leave me a comment if you uh, like. And until I come back with another video, take good care, stay out of trouble, and God bless you and your family.